simulate chat conversations, notifications, posts, reactions, and more with the professionally animated templates in Premium VFX Instant Messages. Instant Messages was created for Final Cut Pro. You can find it in the Titles browser under Premium VFX Instant Messages. Let's create a simulated chat. I'll start with a chat background. Let's try Background 2 Light. Included are both light and dark presets. This looks great, but let's make it vertical like a phone. If I change the timeline to vertical, the preset automatically adjusts. For this example, I'll turn off the build in and out animations so the background stays static. I can change the name and the profile message. Below this, I have complete control over the look and colors of the on-screen elements, but it looks good as is, so let's move along to the chatting. In the Titles browser, under Chat, the presets come in pairs. A is the person on the left side, and B is the person on the right. Let's start with Text 01A. I can position it at the bottom, where it would appear at the beginning of a conversation. For this purpose, we're emulating a flat phone screen text conversation. But with the on-screen controls, you also have 3D rotation handles if you're using these to create special graphics. I'll load up a profile pic in the drop zone and position it properly in the circle. I'll put the person's name in text 1 and the message in text 2. I have complete customization control over the colors of the text bubble and the text. Again, we're going for a flat look here, but Premium VFX also gives you cool further customization, like Drop Shadow, Long Shadow, and 3D Extrude, if you're going for a stylized look. I'll go a little bit down the timeline and add the Typing 01B preset and position it on the other side. This emulates the look of the other person typing. We're going to use the Push control which pushes everything below it up like a real chat window. Because of this, let's put the chat presets in their own compound clip above the background while we build everything out. I'll set the push to 15, and it will push the first text up. A little further down the line, let's complete the person's thought and drop text 01B on the timeline. Remember, this is the B side of the conversation. I'll adjust the push amount as well and then I'll customize the chat window like before. Now, to finish out the conversation, it's as easy as option-dragging the A and B texts to make copies. Stagger them along the timeline and adjust the text accordingly. You're not limited to chat windows. Premium VFX Instant Messages allows you to add multimedia chats like audio, video, and maps as well. That was so easy keep the conversation full screen, or composite it into an image of a phone for added realism. The notifications, posts, and reaction presets can come in handy as well. Plus, they are motion trackable for special effect. I'll attach notification 6 to the video clip on my timeline. I'll move the tracking square to the edge of the laptop and click the track forward button. Now the notification moves with the laptop and I can position, scale, and rotate it while retaining the tracking information. As expected, you can completely customize these notifications as well. Premium VFX Instant Messages is a very cool set of effects that will come in handy on all sorts of different projects. Try out a wide range of great audio and visual effects at fxfactory.com.